Viva La Mexico, Christine Brown from Sister Wives and her husband, David Woolley, have took many, many trips since their wedding. But fun fact, Christine said like a month ago, a few weeks ago, that her and David haven't even been on their honeymoon yet. So as soon as I seen them posting in Mexico, I'm like, is this your honeymoon? Asking for myself, hey, you never know till you ask. So, just curious if this, I doubt this was their honeymoon. I don't think this was their honeymoon. I don't know. It could be their honeymoon because she said something about it recently. What do y'all think? Anyway, she posted and captioned, Exploring Colonial LeBaron was a trip down memory lane for both of us. He used to visit with his family. And my mom's biological father lived there. So, that would be her papa, her grandpa. Our paths almost crossed so many times. I even attended a few weddings there. And guess who else was at one of them? And no, we're not related. Life works in mysterious ways. Hashtag colonial LeBaron. Hashtag Mexico memories. Hashtag travel throwback. Hashtag love and destiny. First of all, how stinking sweet are they? Y'all, I can't even. I love me some Christine and David. I've always said this. That has not changed since they introduced themselves or since I released his name. <laughs> because y'all already know I did that. You're welcome, Christine. Because Christine... Uh, revealed David's exclusive identity the day after I did. Hey, that's another reason why you should subscribe to my channel if you have not already because I spilled the tea before these people spilled the tea. And you know it's accurate if they're spilling it. I'm just spilling it before. So, I mean, <laughs> hello. I love doing that because it's like, where's Waldo? It's like one of those... You know, little games. You got to find the missing piece. And then when you find the missing piece, it's like, bam. <laughs> That's the way I feel about what I do. Okay, I do what I do and I do it well. And so does Christine. Look at this smile. Yeehaw. Yes, ma'am. They look so happy. So adventurous. I don't know why TLC don't document this. They could be. They could be. I don't know. I'm not following along. I hope they are. Because I'd much rather see this than Cody and Robin sitting on Cody Pass just squalling and crying. <sighs> you know, show us the adventures, the fun, the good times, the laughter, explore. Hey, take us on some explorations, okay? Teach us some history. Yes. Show us that you can rise above. You can come out of them ashes that Cody tried to burn you in. Okay, we're not going there because Christine is happy and I'm not trying to go dark. Y'all know Cody and Robin just make everybody go dark because, in my opinion, they're dark people. But look, Christine looks good in this cowboy hat and this braid. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This style, they was on point. On point. Her and David. Looking good. Looking good. I also knew they was in Mexico when they posted last week because I zoomed in on a sign in the background and I seen the Mexico flag. <laughs> so I was like, uh-oh. But I sent her a message said, Viva la Mexico. And she loved it. Yeah, I said what I said. Christine loved my message. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. You know these people know who's talking about them. Christine's over here like, dang, Amanda ain't never been nothing but supportive of me and David. You know why? Because Christine has showed us she's real and genuine, in my opinion. And look, I'm going to tell you something. Christine is a human being, okay? She ain't perfect. But Christine has a good heart. And you can see that. Through her actions. How many times has Christine put kids and other people before herself? So many times. So many times. This woman deserves all the love, happiness, and smiles that is in her life right now.
She really, really does. I'm telling you, I want a Christine and David show. I really do. I don't know. What would that be called? And do not say nothing about no sister wives because we all know she ain't no sister wife no more. She don't want nothing to do with that. So we got to respect that. That's what we need to do is start respecting people's wishes and boundaries. Like, why are we just walking all over people, you know? I mean, that's just a question for myself and everybody else. Like, if Christine has said, we got to put ourselves in her shoes, you know? Not in, not, not specifically in her shoes, but a similar situation. If you were to tell people, you don't want to be, you know, known as a sister wife anymore because you don't, you don't do that. That ain't your life. You ain't about that life. <laughs> but people still categorize you to that. Then it's like, oh, so annoying. <laughs> but I do understand and I know that she's got her following and her fan base because she was a sister wife at one time. But can we let the woman grow? Can we close that chapter? Close the book. Close the book. Put it up. Put it in the vault. We'll open that vault some other time when we board, maybe in a decade. Okay. Well, let's bury the. Let's bury that. <laughs> we done with Cooter Brown, okay? And we done with that sister wife mess. Let's see Christine and David living their monogamous life, living their best life. Don't Christine and David look like some mom and dad to you on vacation? They do to me. I swear on my life. This is my mama and daddy sending me pictures on vacation every other month when they go. I swear it is. And if I didn't get trolled so much, I would throw a pickup of my mama and daddy and you would crack all the way up. This is my daddy and his goatee and his glasses and his hat. They the same, Him and David the same size. They got the same. They look the same right here. My mama's got the long blonde hair, tan, got the glasses, smile. This is literally mom and dad. <laughs> Woo. Maybe that's why I got a I got a special place in my heart for Christine and David. Because every time I see them, I'm like, that's my mom and daddy right there. I swear it is. <laughs> if my mama is watching this video, which she probably is, mama, do not comment. Good Lord, don't comment. Because them trolls will come at you. I've noticed they've been doing that a lot here lately. And I'm like, y'all got to chill. Lord have mercy. Donnie was shaking his head this morning when I was reading him some of the comments. And he's like, man, them people don't make no damn sense. <laughs> I'm like, why don't they watch people they like? Why are so many people complaining about everything I do and say in the comments? Like, just click off the video. And if you like the video and enjoy it, can you please comment more? Because I need more of that. We need more love and positivity. Put it out there. Spread that positivity, kindness, and them good vibes. Let's spread that like wildfire. Sprinkle that shit like glitter. <laughs> y'all like and share this video. I really would appreciate it. I hope y'all had an amazing week. I hope you have an even better weekend. I hope you subscribe if you're new here. Hey, go ahead and click that notification bell located beside subscribe. Make sure it's highlighted to all. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload. Stay tuned because I got a lot more on the way and you don't want to miss it. I love you for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.